What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jojo back with another video. Today what we're going to be talking about is why I think you should be preparing for this 2020 postseason collection now. And the way you should be preparing for it compared to the way that you may think that you, you need. And I could be wrong. This is just my prediction. So since the postseason started, SDS has been giving us cards after the NLCS, after the uh, first round, second round. And pretty much what they gave us was eight cards per round. And you got a selection of four. For the first round, it was four AL, four NL. Once it got to the NLCS, it was four out of the eight that you were able to pick. And come over here to the collection screen. If you go over here, you go to the 2020 postseason. You look to the left and you'll see like 25, 30, 35, 40. But then you count the amount of players that we have so far, the amount of cards that we have been given for 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, right? Realistically, that means we're getting at the very least eight more cards, right? That's at least, by seeing the screen, they're pretty much telling us that we're gonna get at least eight more cards. So what does that mean? What should I be looking for? For me, I know for a fact that since we didn't get 99 Seeger or 99 Randy after the NLCS and the ALCS and they were the MVPs, tomorrow they'll probably be a part of this collection. Now, how many cards are you gonna need to get them? I honestly can't answer that question, but I would rather be safe than sorry because we all know 99 Seeger is gonna be a pillar on this game. So many of the cards that have come out recently, and we're talking about 99 J-Ram, 99 Mondesi, Fox, they're lefty killers. 125, 125 for Mondesi and J-Ram. I think Fox is 125, 116. You're gonna have so many people who are trying to, they're gonna put out righties more than you're gonna see lefties from here on out because of all the 125, 125 players. When Seeger comes out, it's just gonna be a lefty to kill righties. Now, Seeger also hit, I think, four home runs in the NLCS against lefties. So he'll probably have 125, 125 against lefties as well. So he's gonna be a problem. His swing is one of the best on this game. It's consistently one of the best on the game. His 91 card rakes. His gold rakes. I think it's a diamond now, but when it was a gold, it raked. His card is gonna be so nice. This Randy card is probably gonna be nice. There's a lot of outfield options, but this Randy card will be nice. If you use this card for the moments, you know that this swing was good. It's gonna have speed. His fielding may get boosted just a little bit, but his hitting is gonna be outrageous. So if you wanna use that card, you can. But what this tells me is we're gonna get a, obviously we're gonna get an MVP. The World Series MVP will be a part of this collection. That could be Bailey. We all know how good Bailey is. It could be Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau has a sweet swing on this game. It could be Blake Snell. We don't know. Blake Snell is amazing. He's one of the hardest pitchers to see on here. He's only got the 95. Imagine a 99 Blake Snell with the his, with this pitching motion it's hard to pick up. Like what if they juice it and give him a sinker like they've been giving everybody else or a cutter, like just some pitch that he doesn't throw. The way you should be preparing for this, in my eyes, I don't think you can lose out on it. Go here. I bought most of these cards for 2021K this morning. And if I was to sell them back, it would be okay. I wouldn't lose much, if any stubs at all. Pagan, I think, is going for 30K. Like, I could sell that back right now. I'd be okay. Buy every card. That's what. That's pretty much the gist of the video. It's going to be a short video. Buy every card. If you can, to prepare for the collection. Because most people, when the Trout collection was coming out, wasn't prepared. Now, some of us got it down day one. That's okay if you didn't. I got it done day one. Most people, a lot of people did, but some didn't because they didn't know what we we're gonna need. And so they just didn't buy the cards. And then those prices of those cards shot up, took off. You know what I'm saying? Cards that were 8K went up to 60K. Cards that were 20K went up to 100K. Like that's what I expect with these. If these collections come out tomorrow and you end up needing most of these cards, cards like Urias may go from 23K to 80K if the card is nice. If you need most of these cards to get that 99 Seeger, a lot of these prices are going to shoot up. So why not go ahead and buy them now for 20k rather than 50k, 60k? Now, if they don't, if you don't end up needing all of them, kind of like the tops now, when everybody was preparing for tops now, you still can sell and not lose. You'll pretty much break even. You may even get a 1k, 2k profit. So either way, you're perfectly fine. 
So if I was you, I would go right now, buy these cards, put your buy orders in. As you can see, I'm still waiting on some of my buy orders to go through. I still have one more set of moments to do to get four of them. I'm waiting on like three or four other cards to buy orders. So that's pretty much the video. It was a short video today. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that you should probably get this collection done this way. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this is the way I would be preparing for it. Um, follow us over on Twitch. We're streaming Monday through Thursday, 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. Give me your predictions for the rest of the World Series. Who you want to win World Series MVP so that they can get a 99 card. Uh, what other cards are you looking forward to drop? Such as Maze. We're still looking for Griffey. You know, cards like that. You know, what, what are we looking forward to? Give me your prediction for the rest of the World Series. You think it's going to go Game 7? Me personally, I think Dodgers in 6. But I would love to see a Game 7. And that's pretty much the rest of the video. I hope you have a blessed day. Follow us over on Twitter. And y'all have a great day. Bye.